Hey guys, welcome back to another Hustle Liz Fitness Workout. We have a great ab and booty workout for you today. So without further ado, you do not need any equipment. Just grab your mat if you have one and some water and let's get into the warm up. We're gonna start with our legs, shoulder width apart and just some deep breaths here. This is gonna be a slow and controlled movement today. Nothing that's crazy with jumping or that's gonna be hard on your joints. It's just gonna be a good glute and ab burner. Good job, give me two more here. One, good, and two, good. Let's take that stance a little bit wider and bring it all the way down onto that right leg. Pop that left heel open and stretch out that inner thigh. Good, balance, but your fingers sprawled down on the mat. Chest up and breathe here for three, two, one, good, let's switch sides, stay low, down onto that left leg, ooh yeah, feel that right in that inner thigh, point those toes up and balance for three, two, and one. Let's do that one more time on each side, back over to the right, good. Really warming up those legs, warming up those hips, we're gonna have a lot of burning today. Good, and back over to the left side. Good, for three, two, one. Good, let's stand it back up, bring those feet back into shoulder width apart, and let's just get some good body weight squats in here. Sit back, good, stay low, for three, two, one, back up, good. And squeeze and back down, for three, two, one. Good, back up and down, for three, two, one. Good, two more down. Now when you're sitting down here like this, I know that some people are going to feel it in their hips. I want you to try to tuck that pelvis under and activate those glutes. So it's like if there were a chair there, but instead of the chair, it's your glutes that are holding you up. Good. Stand for three, two, one. Back down. Good. Three, two, one. Now let's speed it up. Down for one, up for one. Good. Burning out those legs right away. Squeezing those glutes at the top, making sure that core is engaged this whole series. Good. Give me three more. Two. And three. Good. Let's shake it out. We're going to be standing a lot today. If you need, well, standing for the first part of this series, if you need a chair to hang on to, go for it. Otherwise, try to use that balance, try to use that core. For this series, we're going to start by standing on our right leg, putting that left leg back. We're going to tap the toes down to the ground and lift up. There you go. Just straight back, core is engaged, lifting with the top of that glute. Like I said, if you need the chair, hang on to the chair. Otherwise, hands at prayer or hands down by your side. Keep tapping. Good. Five more here. Five. Four, three, two, one. Now lift that leg up, bring it out to an angle, and let's tap it down at the at a side angle. Ready, go. Good. So it's just a light tap on the ground. We are balancing on that right leg and feeling that burn in the outer glute. Good. And breathe here. Good. Lifting with that outer glute. Standing leg is strong. Give me three. One, two, and three. Good, let's switch sides. So balancing on that worked left leg, and let's go back. Lifting, good. There are three different muscles in the glute area that we wanna work. Right now we're kinda hitting that top butt, which is a nice little area to get to burn first. Then when we bring it out to the side, we'll hit the outer. And then the hardest one to get is the under butt, which we will get onto later. Good. Give me three, two, one. Good, lift that leg up, out to an angle, tap the toe down, lift it up. There you go. Core is nice and tight here, keep it engaged. Squeeze that belly button back to your spine. Good. 
good. For three, two, and one, good. Now standing, we're gonna do some lateral lifts. So same thing, if you need a chair, put it in front of you, hang on to the side. We're going to be balancing on the right leg. We're gonna put that left leg out to the side, tap the toe down, lift it up. There you go. So now we've hit back, side angle, and now we're going laterally, really getting all areas of that glute. Good. Woo, it's already burning. That's good. Here we go for five, four, three, two, and one. And let's go back over now to the right side for 10, nine, ooh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, shake it out. Let's get into some curtsy lunges here. Or a curtsy lunge, instead of just stepping regularly back, you're gonna step at an angle. So you're gonna take that right leg, angle it back, all the way down, all the way up. Do not slam that knee into the ground. Good. Balance here. Give me three more. One, two, good. Three, switching sides. Left leg goes back. Do that standing series again. Starting from the back, the taps. I know it burns, so you gotta do it again. So, um, balancing on the right leg, pushing that leg with right, left leg back, tapping. Here we go. Okay, three more here. One, two, three. Lift that leg up. Angle it out to the side and tap. Good. Lots of strength in this working leg, shooting out through those toes. Good. And three, two, one. Switching sides. Back with the right leg, standing on the left. Here we go. Once more, let's start balancing on that right leg and working the left. Here you go. Tap down, lift up. Good. Keeping that core engaged the whole time. Ooh, if it burns, well, that is a good thing. If it's not burning, it's not changing. Here we go for three, two, and one. Switching sides. Tap. Stabilization with that core. Oh, here we go for the three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. Right back into those curtsy lunges. Let's start with right leg behind the left and down Woo. and up. Hold that balance and up. Good, really working that outer glute here. Chest up, core tight for three, two, and one. Good, switching sides, left leg goes back. Almost done with this standing series here. Stick with it. For three, two, and one. Good job. All right, move your chair out of the way. If you needed one, and let's come down to all fours. 
similar to the standing series, we are going to just do light taps and lifts. I want you no arch backs like this. Tuck that pelvis under, use those abs. We're gonna start by shooting out the left leg. We're gonna tap the toes on the ground and lift up. Here you go. Good. Lots of energy shooting out of those toes. Isolate that energy right in the glute. Good. For five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now keep that leg lifted. Same thing. Just bring it out to a side angle and tap and lift. Good. Nice work, everybody. Hang in there. Let it shake, let it burn. Good. For four, three, two, one. Good. Switching legs. Same thing on the right side. Straight back. Tap the toes. Lift up. Core is engaged. I'll remind you the whole time so you don't let it go. That's a part of the practice all the time. If you want to have good abs, they have to be engaged with every exercise that you do. Protect your lower back and keeps that core stabilized. Good. Here we go for three, two, and one. Good. Now lift it up, angle it out to the side. Deep breath, here we go. This also will help with those love handles. If you are looking to burn some fat off those love handles, angle that leg out and lift it up. Good. And breathe. For three, two, and one. Good. Sit back into a child's pose. Oh, stretch those glutes out. We are not done. Everyone likes to hear that, right? You're about halfway there though, so good job. And breathe. Good. Bring it back up into that tabletop position. We are going to fire hydrant the leg out. What that means is you're going to lift up that left leg with that inner thigh pointing down to the ground, knee bent, and you're going to touch that knee to the left elbow and shoot it back. There you go. We are working the obliques, squeezing those obliques as we drive that knee forward using that glute to push the leg back. There you go. Give me five. Good. Four. Good. Three. Good. Two. And one. Good. Keep that knee lifted. Now bring it down to touch the right and lift it back up for some traditional fire hydrants. Good. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, switching sides, dropping or driving that right knee up, inner thigh towards the ground, drive it to touch the right elbow. Here we go. For 10, nine, eight, squeeze that oblique, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, drive it up. Traditional fire hydrants, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, sit it back into child's pose. Stretch it out and breathe. Good, coming back up onto your forearms here. So drop down onto the forearms. We're gonna hold a plank. We're gonna push back into those heels. Core tight, neck and shoulders relaxed and breathe. Good job. Hang in there, you can do this. Feel those abs. 
Make those changes, come on. Push back in those heels, strong legs, strong arms, here we go. Good, now take that left leg and drive it up. Good, now switch to the right. Here we go, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hang on, hang on, hang on, don't drop. Push up onto the hands, good. And core is engaged, holding a high plank. Here we go, and breathe. Go up onto those tippy toes, rock forward, rock back, rock forward, good. Rock back, rock to the right, rock to the left, rock to the right, rock to the left, rock forward, rock back. Good, drop down to those knees, stretch it out. Good work, everybody. All right, let's flip over and hit some of those abs here. All right, so starting laying on your back, we're gonna talk about a little bit of engagement here. So, if you ever find that your stomach when you're doing ab exercises is pushing up, you wanna be able to flatten it down. So, I want you to tuck your pelvis under and have your back, lower back, flat on the mat the whole time. If your stomach is pushing up, you're not engaging your abs right. So I need you to really focus on keeping that plane nice and flat and pushing that belly button towards the spine, okay? So what we're gonna be doing here is a nice slow movement so you can really watch your stomach and see if you're engaging it the right way. So starting with your knees in tabletop position, all we're gonna do is hang on to our left knee with both hands, shoot the right leg down as low to the ground as you can get, look at that stomach. Is it pushed up or is it flattened down? If it's pushed up, you may want to elevate that leg a little bit. You may want to really focus on pushing those abs down. Then you're going to switch sides. Flatten out that stomach and switch. Good. Then switch. Flatten out that stomach every time that foot gets to the ground. Good. Engage. Good. Give me four. Three, good. Two, and one, good. Head down, hands down, but along the side of the body. Let's tabletop those legs again. All we're gonna do is press our knees together, nice and tight, engaging those lower abs. Bring the feet down, touch the ground, and bring them back up. Now, why does that, is that hard? It doesn't look hard at all. If you focus on keeping your lower back on the ground while those toes come down to touch the mat, it's gonna really engage that core. So focus on lower back on the mat, touch the toes to the ground, bring them back up. Ready, here we go. Touch the toes, bring them up. Keep that lower back on the ground. Good. Good. For eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, good, and one. Nice job, everybody. Sprawl it out. Take a long stretch up overhead. Nice work. All right, we're gonna flutter do a flutter series, so we're gonna do scissors and um, flutters. So what we're gonna do is shoot the leg straight out in front of you, cross the right over the left, and then vice versa. Here you go, and hold. These are scissors. They're hard to talk during. There you go. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, don't drop. Let's go right into flutters like you're swimming. There you go. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
four, three, two, one, and drop. Good work. All right, for the final ab exercise here, we're going to put those ankles right underneath that butt, and we're gonna reach down with our left hand, touch the left ankle, and then switch sides. Really working those side obliques. Ankle touches, here we go. We're gonna be here for a little while. Keep moving. Make sure those abs are engaged. Make sure you're not puffing up that stomach. Reach. Here we go. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. All right, let's lay it down. We're gonna do our final glute series here and then we'll stretch and be done. So hands down by your sides. I want your knees pressed together. The harder you press them together, the more it's gonna work those lower abs. Here we go, we're going to lift our glutes and squeeze with our hamstrings and glutes to lift our body up. Oh, so up and down, good. Just push those legs together, up, good, and down. Squeeze and breathe. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good. While you're up top, walk those feet out. Now I want you in a wide stance. We're going to do the same movement for ten. Here we go. Squeeze those glutes. Ten, nine, Squeeze, eight, seven, six. The harder you squeeze, the nicer your butt you're gonna get. Five, here you go. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up top, move those legs back together. Squeeze those inner thighs. Here you go, for 10. Good, push, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, ooh, three, two, and one. Hold it at the top, move it outside for the last time. Wide lifts, here we go. For 10, squeeze those glutes. Nine, eight, seven, feel it burn. Six, five, good, four, three, two, and one. Good, let it drop. Woo, release it. Long body stretch here, arms up overhead. Legs are long. Good job. All right, let's sit it up. Let's take it over. Let's go right into a down dog for our first stretch here. Fingers spread wide, toes push back, there it is. Oh, feel that everywhere. Good. When you're ready, let's drop that right leg down for a pigeon. We're not gonna drop all the way down into pigeon. We'll just sit up and stretch out that glute and that hip. There you go. And breathe. Lots of glute work today. Good ab burner. You can repeat this as many times as you want in a week to hit those abs and those glutes. Let's tuck those toes under on the left leg, push out and switch sides. Good. Oh, I can feel that in my hip. Good, everybody, breathe. right toes under. Bring it up to standing. Let's go to a wide stance and drop the body down. One vertebrae at a time. Let's hang on to those elbows and sway out side to side. The head is nice and heavy. There you go. Plant those hands on the ground. Lean into them. Let 
Let's stretch out those hamstrings. Good. Heel toe, those feet to touch in the center. Nice forward fold here. And when you're ready, let's bring it down to seated for our final neck stretch here. Deep breath in, let's touch that right ear to the right shoulder, close those eyes, and breathe. And left ear to the left shoulder, couple of deep breaths here. Open those eyes, bring that head back to center. Great work today, you guys. Another awesome series. You can come back and revisit this whenever you want. Share it with your friends. If you ever, ever have any questions, you can email me at hustle.lizfitness at gmail.com or follow me on Instagram, hustle underscore Liz Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.